Now, this is an ode to the Cooper. From me, a proud Yorkshire tyke. Both took master, Jonathan Mamby, and no journeyman, you and Finlay alike. There's an old cow shed here, full of tools. To untrained eye, that's all it might be. But with steel hammer in right pair of hands, this shed is a cooperage, you see. With chivs and crows and hammer and driver, with side axe and topping plane too. The cooper shapes timber with skill and precision into casks that'll all us odd true. He bends timber staves with exactness and drives truss hoops to place they should stay. To make firkins, kilderkins, barrels and rare ogshead we've seen here today. For trussing in that we've just witnessed, it's an occasion that is truly rare. The strong-armed, keen-eyed cooper these days is a craftsman we have many to spare. There's only been five here at Feakston's, including you in the past 50 years. It shows that they must stick around, Simon. There must be an half decent boss, it appears. And now Master Brew has offered you and a job. I bet when I come down from Scotland at first, I couldn't have imagined I'd end up in Massam and rolled inside an hogshead, immersed. I couldn't have imagined your skill to whip timber so deftly like art. I couldn't have imagined I'd join this rare breed of Coopers that you are now part. It is a remarkable craft. To see it die out would be a disaster. I hope that one day you're your own apprentice and in turn that you'll become master. I hope there's countless more casts to be coopered and this captivating craft carries on. I never know as in enough time they might end up making more firkins than John. Now, all's left for me to say really is let's move on to the next bit on agenda. To watch Journeyman Cooper, you and Finlay, pull us all a nice pint of stave bender. Wow.